Kisha tuleke mahakamani ambapo kuna ile kesi kumhusu mpelelezi um, wa kibinafsi Jane Mugo ambaye alikuwa ameelekea mahakamani uh, wakati ambapo alikuwa anahisi kuwa maisha yake yamo hatarini na kulikuwa na uh, tangazo lilikuwa limetolewa uh, kutoka idara ya upelelezi uh, ikisemekana kuwa anahitajika kujisalimisha uh, kutokana na maswala mbalimbali alikuwa uh, anadaiwa kuwa amehusika nayo and his passports and motor vehicles had been confiscated by the police. The accused before you got into communication with the Inspector General of the Police, Mr. Matembai, via text message, She was given an audience for the Inspector General, who referred her to his chief staff, Mr. Nyale Munga. Mr. Munga referred the matter to the Director of Internal Complaints, Mr. Charlton Muredi. who took statements <coughs> and on the 12th of August 2019 she was assigned four police officers from the DCI's wing one chief inspector Wanja DCI CID officer Mwangi, the key, and a driver to go to this client's house to take instructions and trace the passport and the motor vehicles. She arrived there and took instructions. And she proceeded to the Immigration Department to trace the, those passports. Later, the Department of Immigration confirmed <coughs> that the passports are with the Deputy Inspector General, Mr. Njoroge Mbogwa. My client went to the DIG's office and they were referred to the Nairobi CCIO's office where the passport was <coughs> retrieved and handed over to our client. After that, we started receiving anonymous calls, threatening our life, and telling her that trumped up charges and fictitious charges will be preferred against her. <coughs> She reported this matter at Central Police Station, <coughs> wide OB number 94 04 09 2019.